Today we're going to learn a feature called the threaded hole tool by creating this weld nut part. We're going to start with a simple cylinder that will make the threaded collar. Extruding midplane and sketching should be pretty familiar to you guys now. What may not be familiar is creating more complex geometries. That's why I chose this part. What we're going to do, we have this kind of curvy flange on the bottom of this weld nut. So in order to do this, we're going to create an arc. Kind of like that. We're going to make this radius. The tricky part may be getting this correctly lined up. You're going to have to do some constraining. So since this extrusion is 0.1875 long, we're going to have to change this dimension to our radius, 1.875. That is right where we need it. Now we're going to do a kind of new extrusion called a thin feature. There it is. Make this mid plane. What is our thickness? It's 0.01. It intersects the middle bottom of that nicely. And this is 0.45. So we're going to have 3.45 midplane. Now we have the curvature. To do that, we'll start here and we'll draw our circle. Oh, that's radius. That's 0.45. There it is. Then we'll do an extruded cut. Now this wants to cut straight out the middle, but we don't want that. So we say flip side to cut. Now it will go outside. So this thin feature will then extrude outwards and remove all of our excess. See how it works. There it is. There's our weld nut. While we're here, we can put on our fillet. Let's try the full round fillet. Perfect. It's nicely rounded. And while we're here, we can also put a fillet here. That's too big. 025. That now comes what we were here for to begin with. The threaded hole. Go to the hole wizard. You guys know where that is by now. This is straight tap. Instead of just a straight, smooth hole, we want the straight tap hole. Gonna make sure that's through all. Okay. We're gonna position it right here in the center. And we're gonna look for a 632 hole. Here it is, 632. Goes all the way through. Here's our hole. You see two different rings here. This is the minor diameter. So if you're looking into this, this little nut, you'll see the tips of the teeth here. And then the trough, so the bolt scrolls, screws into, will be at the outer diameter here, which is close to 0.142. It's 0.138 inches. There we go. That's the major diameter of a 632 thread pattern. And there we go. When you come to drawings, you should be able to use a simple hole callout, which will give you all of this information 
without having to manually enter it all or look up figures if you don't know the exact diameters of a 632. The guy making this weld nut can just put the 632 tap into the machine that's going to do this and it will all be done. Last thing we have to do is put another fillet right here. And there's our weld nut. It's a nice little complex part. It's got this curvature on the flange. It's got some threaded holes. Hope you enjoyed making that and you'll get some more practice with the guide screw later on.